<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going over and walk to swimming um, and it's freezing and I've left my dry robe in the car. So yeah, open water swimming, first session back and I'm doing it at Salford Keys. Dock 9. Yeah, little people swimming along. Um, so the course starts there and then you swim down here up there all the way to the boy at the end and then back round and it's 7 50. i'll bring you along so i've got my wetsuit with me that i'm going to put on and it's really cold and i wish i brought an undergarment layer um but i have so i'll just have to see how it goes you want to come in the water <laughs> nope <laughs> she shot away yeah, it is. top or no top what do you reckon yeah. might be make it a bit restrictive but are you asking me would I wear a top? Yeah. Have you got yeah. another three in there? Everyone else has just got clean. Clean. Yeah, I'll probably be alright when I get here, won't I? Shall I leave it? Yeah, it'd be brave. I probably want it anyhow when I'm walking. So the best way to get a wetsuit on is um, obviously to start from the best one. And if you lose your arm, they know who it belongs to. <laughs> yeah, my arm falls off, they can give it back to me. <laughs> so, I'm going to do how many loops? Each loop is 750. So, what? Three or four? See how we get on, then go and get a coffee afterwards, yeah? I'd like to think so. Yeah, it's not bad. Bloody hell, it's freezing. Um, just done. One and a half, let me take these off. One and a half loops, and it's really cold. I always find whenever, Dad, whenever I'm doing like the first half, I can't breathe. Yeah, it takes your breath away. It takes, like, takes your breath away. But I did flush my wetsuit, so if you put, get in the water and put some water down it, it creates like a little warm layer of water to start with. Um, but it didn't really help because it's flipping freezing. Sometimes with swimming, open water, it's like when you're skiing, it's like sometimes you just don't know which way the person in front's yeah, gonna go. They're so, they're so zigzaggy, like you get really confused with which way they're gonna go. Like when you're behind like beginner skiers, you're like, whoa. Um, but yeah, even though it's like a really light, wide dock, everyone still manages to get in the way of each other. But yeah, I don't really look at my pace when I'm in open water, just in the pool. Um, because this is just about getting used to open water and um, just some people leisurely going past. Anyone can come to open water, you don't need to be a swimmer, you might just be enjoying the water. First time I've got my GoPro in the water. It's all over. <laughs> How was the swim? Cold. It's cold and hard. Like I'm much better in the pool and I've been working on the pool swim for ages. I'm managing to get like 125s now per 100. But then when I go in open water, I literally 
struggle to swim boy to boy and I look at my pace and I'm like, oh, sorry, am I going backwards? A few Do things you find the cold affects you? Yes, it's bloody freezing. I feel <laughs> like it takes like 750 to 1500 meters for me to actually get used to the cold, which is going to be a problem for racing because if my race is only 750 or 800, then it's going to be difficult because I'm going to be freezing. So if anybody's got any tips on how to overcome that, then let me know. Do you find the different style is it, with open water than pool swimming? Yeah, big difference in style. I think if you're doing open water, you have to have basically no style. Um, so if you've been taught to do pool swimming for years and years and you talk about like this perfect stroke, you lovely tumble turn, blah, 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 that just all goes away in open water because you just need to get through that water as fast as possible. And that's that kind of splashing, fast turnover um, of stroke. So it's just something, something that I need to work upon. Is it more time? Open water. Yeah, it's weird because you've got to take into consideration where you go in as well. So you're sighting and like you're thinking, oh, what's underneath me? Oh, is that a fish? Is that a dead body? Like you don't know. Is there a crocodile in here? Maybe. Um, and then like you've got other people to consider. Whereas when you're in a lane, you can see that the lane on the boss, the lane, the line on the bottom of the floor, and you just know where you're going. So yeah, there's a lot more to take into consideration. I don't think Salford Keys are really famous for crocodiles. We, there's always a first time though, isn't there? There's always a first shark attack. Someone saying. might have planted a little alligator in there or a little... And a big one. Exactly, exactly. Or a, oh, let's just drop a piranha in there and the next thing you come out with no toes. Why do you think you've got this number on? So if you lose your hand, they can give it back to you. Okay. <laughs> so. So I'm going to keep coming like on a Saturday, just once a week, and then in the pool focus on, on the actual speed work. And I've also been swimming with Mantri on a Friday morning, doing lots of like paddle work to try and like strengthen my arms because I do rely on the kick a bit too much. So something to work on. Vegan. Vegan cafe, which is nice. And I have a 5.2 mile swim in the lakes. Yes, um, yeah, so 5.2 mile swim Coniston end to end, which I'm not really looking forward to. I was actually supposed to be doing it with my boyfriend and now he's pulled out, so I'm now doing it on my own, which isn't ideal. How are you confident for tomorrow try? I'm doing a sprint try tomorrow, which I will film. I'm not doing the whole try, I'm doing a relay event um, and I'm doing the run, which I'm not confident for at all because I've not really been running recently because of my back. Any other burning questions, anyone? Maybe take your glasses off and then I'm not filming myself. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, that's it from me. And I will be uploading some more vlogs. Now that I'm back to full training, I can upload more vlogs. So tomorrow is the relay try at Wimslow. So I will film that and show you how we get on. Bye.